Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's first video. So we're going to have a look at the ECMWF 30 day uh, model for today's first video. This is going to be for the UK and for Europe as well. So uh, we're going to be looking at the temperature and precipitation anomalies for the next four weeks. It takes us to the end of August, so it is an August uh, look ahead. And uh, we'll see what the uh, ECMWF model has to say about the weather for the next uh, four weeks. We can't show you mean sea level pressure anomalies or 500 millibar heights, unfortunately, uh, at the moment. Hopefully, at some point in the future, they will come online as well, those charts. But we can show you the temperature and precipitation anomalies. So that's what uh, we're going to do for, uh, this, uh, for this video. Uh, coming up later on today, we'll have a week's 10-day video update, and I think we're also going to look for a final time at uh, the events that are going to be taking place later this week. We've got uh, Boomtown Bristol Balloon Festival, so we're going to look at all of those events for a final time uh, this evening. Right, so let's get on with it. We're at the Hungarian Met Office uh, for this, so a big thank you to them for supplying the charts, as always. I'm going to start off with the week one temperature anomaly. It's week 32 for the year, but it's week one for our forecast period. And it takes us from the 5th through to the 11th of uh, August. So we still have this very extensive uh, cold of an average area sitting across the west of Russia. It's been an atrocious summer across uh, western parts of Russia, down to the Black Sea uh, during this summer. So between 19th, a terrible summer uh, for them. And that cold of an average area still sits there across the western part of Russia. Cold average temperature anomalies do extend into the northeast of Europe as well. So from Sweden over towards the Baltic Sea and then down into these uh, Baltic states and through to the east of Ukraine, we find that uh, the temperature anomaly there is slightly below average too. Not as chilly as it is back into the west of Russia, where uh, we're kind of like, um, well, are we on the scale? So on the scale, uh, it looks like we're uh, at the core, probably around 6 to 10 degrees below average there, uh, just there. Um, further west, though, across central western parts of Europe, it looks a lot warmer. So we find that uh, really from Poland uh, and down to the Balkans uh, westwards, back into central and western parts of Europe, it's generally warmer than average, with most places around 1 to 3 degrees above average. But we do have some parts of Italy. Uh, we've got Corsica, Sardinia, and also the south of France, around the Côte d'Azur, and then through to the... Uh, the costas, that sort of area in the uh, east of Spain, uh, there we are um, on the scale three to six degrees below average. So really quite hot across some, some parts of Europe uh, this week. Further northwest still, so we come up towards Norway, Ireland and the UK, and we find that the temperatures are a little bit above average this week. So um, we're talking about generally up to a degree above average for much of uh, the United Kingdom and parts of uh, Norway there, we're uh, one to three degrees above average. Poor old Portugal is also coming out a little bit cooler than average, but of course it'll still be quite hot even there. Uh, most of the Mediterranean is warmer than average this week, although the far southeast around Greece and Turkey does look a little bit cooler than average down there. Precipitation-wise, this south things are looking so quite unsettled uh, from Ireland and the UK in the west over towards um, these uh, northeastern parts of Europe around the Baltic Sea, uh, just there. Uh, also southern Scandinavia, so uh, some parts of uh, Sweden and Norway, and then down into Denmark. There, uh, there we are uh, wetter than average too, but further north into the north of Scandinavia, we're at actually uh, a little bit warmer than average through those areas. Uh, central parts of Europe, close to average with precipitation. It is perhaps a little bit more unsettled than it has been at times through this uh, summer. So France, Germany, Poland, near normal uh, rainfall there, although relatively dry still around the low countries. And then going further south still into Mediterranean, where we find Portugal is a bit wetter than average, but uh, the rest of Spain generally close to average or a little bit on the dry and average side. And that's the case through most parts of the Med, over the Adriatic into the Balkans, I mean down into the southeast of Europe from the Black Sea down to Greece and Turkey. Generally, it's a little bit 
on the drier than average side. So wetter in the north, drier in the south, which is the broad sort of setup. Although keep in mind, northern parts of Scandinavia are actually quite dry too. Then we go through to uh, week two for our forecast period. It's uh, week 33 for 2019, and it's taking us from the 12th to the 18th of August. And it looks pretty chilly, doesn't it, across many uh, northern and western parts of Europe. So Ireland and the UK going cooler than average. Most parts of France, where it has up to now been a very hot summer, uh, most parts of France going Cool of an average as well. Uh, low countries, Germany below average, up Scandinavia, most parts of Scandinavia from Denmark in the south and way up to far north of Norway, generally uh, a little bit on the cool of an average side. And these northeastern parts of Europe as well also looking uh, quite, uh, quite chilly, like uh, Latvia, Estonia, Finland. Those areas looking below average with their temperatures as well. But warmth is across the south of Europe. So if you're going down to the Med uh, through this middle part of August, then it's going to be pretty hot all places, really, below average, uh, above average, I should say, from uh, Spain, south of Spain, uh, over towards Greece and Turkey. Warmer than average conditions dominating there. So hot in the south, but uh, cooler than average up in the north, and quite significantly so, actually. And also, very unsettled. It's not what you want to be seeing in the middle of August. It's the precipitation anomaly for the 12th to the 18th of August. And you see, again, we've got the south of Europe. Most parts of the Med generally a little bit on the drier than average side. So obviously, high pressure is dominating through southern parts of the Europe. We've got plenty of high pressure down here. But further north, uh, from, again, Ireland and the UK in the west, over towards... Uh, west of Russia and all places in between coming out wetter than average. So obviously the idea is that we've got high pressure across southern parts of Europe and we're going to have low pressure coming in from the Atlantic with the jet stream into many central, northern and eventually even eastern parts of uh, Europe. So it does look really quite unsettled and cool, this middle phase of, uh, uh, of August through many parts of uh, Europe, unfortunately. Or fortunately, depending on your point of view, because some people don't like hot, dry weather, of course. Then we go through to uh, week three, week 34 for 2019. And this one is going to take us from the 19th to the 25th of August. And the temperatures are still looking very, very poor here. This is shaping up to be a cool August now. And not just for the UK and for Ireland, but for most parts of, uh, of Europe as well, away from the Mediterranean. Because down in the Med, it is still a little bit warmer than average, although not as warm as it is in uh, week two. But generally, still a little bit on the more than average side, but again, go north of the Pyrenees, go north of the Alps, and you find that most parts of uh, Europe are coming out to, with below average temperatures again uh, in this week. Perhaps not quite as cool in week three as it is in week two. That could just be because we're going a little bit further out, and so the signal is getting that bit weaker. But it looks widely below average, doesn't it? Right the way from uh, Ireland out on the Atlantic side over towards west of Russia. It looks generally below average again through most parts of Europe in this week. So a pretty cool week coming up and still looking unsettled as well. Again, the signal isn't quite as strong in week three as it is in week two. It could just be because we've gone that bit further out, so the signal's got weaker. But generally, this is still quite a strong signal, especially for countries like Ireland, UK, Denmark, southern parts of Norway. Uh, those are there is quite a strong signal still to be uh, wetter than average. And generally, in, uh, northern parts of Europe looking... Uh, rather on the wetter than average side. It's going close to average with precipitation through the central areas, France, low countries, Germany, Poland, down towards Hungary. Those areas are coming out uh, close to average, but probably you would say still a little bit on the above average uh, side for precipitation. I mean, down into the south of Europe again, we still have that drive and average signal there through much of the Mediterranean, albeit as we go further out, it is a weakening signal. This looks like a cool and an unsettled August, I have to say, through many parts of uh, Europe. 
And then we get through to week uh, week four. It's week 35 for the year. It's week four for our forecast period. And it's going to take us from the 26th of August to the 1st of September. Uh, signs of a little bit of a change. Still looking relatively cool out in the northwest. So northern parts of France into particularly England and Wales. Still a bit uh, cooler than average there. Otherwise, quite widely, northern and western central parts of Europe are close to average with their temperature anomaly. The east of Europe looks like it's warming up. This is a bit of a change uh, on what we've had um, through the past few weeks. Eastern Europe looks a bit warmer. Western Europe looks a bit cooler. Uh, we also see that western parts of Russia, where it has been a very, I'd say, very, very cool summer there, just going a little bit warmer than average. So maybe some sort of pattern shift is beginning to develop here. Uh, with the east and the southeast of Europe. Notice, again, uh, around countries like Romania and then going further southwards towards Greece, Turkey. It's hotter than average there, which is a bit of a change on what we've had, while the northwest looks a little bit cooler than average. Otherwise, most other places are uh, close to average with their temperature anomaly. Precipitation-wise, the signal gets weaker and weaker the further out we go. So by this point, week four... 26th of August to 1st of September, there is a lot of white on the chart, which is sort of no signal, uh, really. We do still see, again, that northern parts of Europe, it's a weak, much weaker signal compared to earlier in the forecast, but um, northern parts of Europe do still have that weak signal to be slightly wetter than average. Southern parts of Europe, most of the Mediterranean, still has that weak signal to be slightly drier than average. Most other areas in between looking close to average with their precipitation. So maybe not as much of a fundamental shift in the pattern uh, at the end of August as I thought potentially from the temperature anomaly. Uh, but anyway, week signals by week four, of course, as always. So this is shaping up to be a pretty cool and unsettled August through um, many parts of Europe and the UK. Ireland is included in that, of course. In fact, we are sort of leading it because we're right next to the Atlantic Ocean. And the Atlantic Ocean is going to be the driver for this cool and unsettled August. So obviously we're going to get it before anybody else. And uh, I think it could get a bit unpleasant at times. It could be a bit wet and windy. Maybe even uh, a bit on the autumnal side for northern and western parts of Europe exposed to these areas of low pressure coming in from the Atlantic. It looks pretty decent down in the Med, though. So if you've got a holiday plan to Spain, to uh, the Costas, to uh, the Balearic Islands or uh, Corsica, Sardinia, Malta, Italy... All of those areas look like they can have a very uh, hot and dry uh, August overall. So the heat and dry weather being forced south into the bed, south of the Alps, south of the Pyrenees, but north of the, of the great mountain ranges of the Alps of the Pyrenees. It looks like a much more unsettled and rather cool month. Uh, right, it's just a snapshot. It could all look very different next week. Any forecast beyond five to seven days comes with huge health warnings, as we always say. And you have to take it with a pinch of salt. Uh, but uh, that's how it's looking this week. We'll be back later on with your week to 10-day video update. That will be coming up for you this afternoon on the homepage at Gazwell. But uh, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.